start. <laughs> oh my gosh, those teeth. Well, hello, my doomed little dicelings. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh yes! Now, what are you doing backstage? But did you give up on your dreams and go into minion training? Hmm. We're leaving, and you can't stop us. <laughs> she totally can, sorry. No! Yeah, I definitely can. Uh. Well, haven't you been paying attention? Mm. We've been paying a lot of attention. We fought through your dungeons. We've beaten your bosses. And yet we're still trapped down here thanks to your rigged wheel of lies! You're a cheat! This game isn't fair! So we're going home. Minions! The doors enter lockdown! Once the doors are locked, that's it! We're stuck backstage until we give up. I'm really sorry, friends, but at least we tried. No! I'm not giving up! And I'm not going to stay backstage forever. Quick, can anyone make it through the last door before it closes? Final showdown. Who are we bringing to the final showdown against, uh, presumably, Lady Luck? I imagine our best odds are probably like Jester here. But we did just play Jester. But I really like Jester. If you want to win. It's been a while since we've touched Warrior. Because Brute Force. Warrior's how we started. Warrior can Commander, be how we ended. One of our most valued supporters. Jonathan! Our continued support of the XCOM. Thank project. you so much for those 10 months! Council support. Little Jester. Oh. Look at pull. I need to take a break anyway, actually. Sure, sure. We'll leave it up to a straw poll. Why the heck not? I mean, it, these two options are required. Robot, inventor, which? Jester. Alright, well y'all, just let me know whom I'm playing here. I'm gonna take a quick break, refill my water, eat some food, quick snack, stretch my legs, and when I return, the final showdown. It says right here, final, final showdown. Whoop, I clicked on somebody, hold on. <laughs> Apparently I'm choosing. I meant to click on the... I was clicking back from OBS. Whatever. Apparently we're going with the Jester now. My turn to play the hero. I'm coming to get you, all of you. And the frog, and the baby squid, and your democratic lies. Holding a vote and then ignoring the results. We're gonna beat Lady Luck and we're gonna leave the dungeons! Spin the dungeon! Just you wait and see. Find a way to rescue everyone and escape the dungeons if Jester is knocked down. Kill Jester. Ooh, the music though. I dig it. Alright, well I'm still taking a break. Enjoy this Pumping kicks of a tune. And when I return, I'll be back. All right, we have returned. Who's cheering in the background? We'll actually watch this weird show that Lady Luck is hosting. Or is it like an audio track that's playing? I'd love to know. Party. I have a party. It's party time! 
All right, Rose. Hmm. Against all odds, roll four even dice. Wait, no! That's not my snap. You again, outrageous. I deserve better than this. It's ridiculous that I'm still lounging around on level one, fighting still more dice when I'm more than ready to be a boss. This is the last straw. As soon as I've beaten you, I'm going straight to Lady Luck and putting in a formal complaint. Switch Fighter. Wind Up Fist. Do five damage and juggling balls. We don't have discard. Interesting. So it seems, as usual, like this episode is completely different than the other ones. Oh, so that's all of you cheering in the background. Well, that makes sense. I can get behind that. Wait, deal damage, get a new dice. And then... Give him the old... Punching. The old punching. Ow. Look, I don't like you. I never will. But if you're really going to take on Lady Luck, I'm going to come with you. You win! The enemy joins your party. Welcome! Welcome! Rose is on our team now. Wait, what? I select a teammate to restore 10 health. You'll... Are we leveling up? Wait, what? Who needs XP when we have friends? Wait, you're going up against Lady Luck? You? You've barely been here five minutes. What have you got to complain about? I've been asking for better equipment for years, and nothing. And now you think you're the one who's been wronged? I'll show you. Have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't need to switch fighter. And we can just give him the dunking. What? What? Hey, um, if you do manage to beat Lady Luck, can you ask for that sword upgrade I've been hoping for? Yeah, I could, could... could I come with you? If that would help? We did indeed open the final door, Cuttlefish Captain. That's what's behind here. Let me update my title, by the way. Farag joins the party. And we'll heal Jester up, I guess. And hopefully later on we'll find a Poka Center, then we can get everybody healed up. <gasps> Baby Squid, get on the team! I will beat you into submission. What do you mean there's no dialogue? This is criminal. This is criminal! Frog has 12 hit points, not 9. Frog, you're up. Get him. Frog hit hard. Alright, Frog, don't die. With a baby squid. Frog only has two dice. Oh, it's not even null. Oh well. Yeah. Ah, that was great. Maybe you really can beat Lady Luck. 
I guess if you win, you'll, you'll be leaving. I'll, I'll miss you. It's been so much fun having you around. It'd be okay if I, I join in on the rest of this episode. One last ride? Hell yeah, it would be okay, baby squid. Hell yeah, it would be. Oh, good question, Carissa. Does Limit Break change? Wait, 14. Limit Break change based on... Uh... Let's go. Wait, I only have two dice now. What? Hold on. Why? Do I have less dice per characters or something? <laughs> what gives? I always had two dice? Oh. I didn't notice that, somehow. Get the frog in there. These dice are burning! Ready in seven hit points. Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Get him, frog! You got it. Frog, no! Froggy! The Jester Boy back in there. Squidow. We will win. Welcome, pirate. Pirate had no dialogue for us. Arr, mateys, I'd be happy to join your cause against the luck, lady. Yar. Yar. Handyman, get on the team. Sure got a lot of health compared to us. <laughs> Our mediocre stuff. Pirate can use 14 health. Oof. Just has some damage with thorns. No, Baby Squid, actually. Can very effectively use two sixes. So I think the strategy here is going to be to switch to whichever character can make the best use of the dice that you've been given. So hit button, switch back to Jester. Imagine. I want that. I want to live that reality. I want to live in that world. We lose if Jester dies, yeah. Hey, you're off to fight Lady Luck, right? Do you want a hand? Or six? I mean, I've got so many of them. Welcome, Mandy Hand. Party member looks like they're gonna suck. Let's see, static will work pretty well on them, so I imagine any man's good for this task. Probably 
should have against all odds at the start there. I'm gonna do it now anyway. Just die. Get P-shotted on. Hammer time! And then what, back to Jester? We can use a one effectively. Nobody? Running up that fist. do the requisite damage here. Don't think so. Everyone's getting battered. Alright, Rose. You're taking one for the team. And by one, I mean two. You're taking two for the team. Also, I should have used Wind Up Fist. Oh my god, you're alive. And you won. Good job, Thorns, man. You did it. The enemy joins the party. Alright, Shot, what do you got? What a fun group you are. Hiking through the around through the dungeons like this. Here, I've got something for you. On the house, we receive an extra dice. You know what? I love it in here in the dungeons, but if you don't, maybe you shouldn't actually have to stay here for all eternity. Hope you teach Lady Luck a lesson. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Store 10 health. Um, get Jester healed up here. We always start with Jester in play, right? Oh god, it's Singer or Rhino Beetle already. Yikes. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Alright, well, I'm definitely sacrificing Roseman to uh, Rhino Beetle here. For sure. <laughs> Okay, maybe Squid would do a lot of damage, but would probably die. Awesome Angel Moon, thank you. Pirate, Pirate Tuck thing recharges on fives, I believe, with the unupgraded version. So we don't want Pirate. We want to either slap him with a Handyman here. Let's do that. We can only do up to eight on this turn, actually. can do the most with two ones because he can reroll them. Or we can sacrifice the rose. Pirate's not bad either, actually. Let's put Pirate in. He can do ca double cannon fire. Yeah, let's see, it's on five. The back sprite for, spy for Pirate. I like it. Feels like I'm playing Pokemons. I gotta switch in the sacrificial lamb here. There are no levels to up. Tragically. 
only death. was knocked out. Got this handyman. Hell yeah, you got this. Enemy joins our party. What we got here? <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're trying to leave the dungeons and you've got the minions to help you. You might want this. Another extra dice! Don't tell anyone I gave it to you without a trade. Hooray! Alright, who can actually use lots of dice? Rhino Beetle can actually make quite a lot of use out of uh, having a lot of dice. And the, the hit point nerf, though, hits hard. That hits hard. So Singer has how many dice? She's gonna be dangerous here. Do I need to top up Handyman? Probably. Wish I could switch more. Than, wish I could switch more than once a turn. That'd be convenient. Got four dice. Okay. She does max four times two until she hits high note. We're not gonna let her hit high note. I'm gonna switch in Rhino Beetle here. And lock her dice, I think. Or we could shock her and pea shooter her. Oh, Pirate, yeah, Pirate can do that. Yeah, actually. Pirate, get in there! Let me know he won't die either. Almost die. Two damage. Rude. All right. Can anybody do seventeen with these dice? I don't think so. But Rhino Beetle can do a lot. So happy with himself. Max two. And this doesn't do any damage. Wow. We can screws this guy over, huh? I realize that. Alright, baby squid. This one's all you. Give him the headbutt. Why are you all walking around together anyway? Are you going on a road trip? Can I come? I love songs about road trips. I'll bring my guitar and we can sing as we walk. The enemy joins up our party. So we now have her ridiculously strong weekend abilities, which will be very useful. Um, let us top up Baby Squid. Make sure our champion survives. Buster? Boss Buster? Is Buster gonna join the party? How do I... Man, Buster is gonna take out quite a few members with us. With him, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Cowboy will definitely be useful, though. As much as the cowboy will inflict some serious casualties with that six shooter of his. You can do up to 18 damage in a turn. If he rolls decently. Looks like he'd be really vulnerable to the singer's weaken, actually. So I'm going to use the singer here. Because he's only got two pieces of equipment, right? See what that does to him. Oh god. Oh yeah, he can only just 
one six shot. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Um, vacuum is a decent candidate for this. Let's put Jester back in. Yeah, six shooter normally is three a turn. Yep, that's right. My entire face. Eleven damage with six one one. Six one one. Uh, probably the reason you haven't seen too many people talk about that Angel Moon is that a lot of us are here to uh, to escape the harshness that is reality sometimes and find a place where we can celebrate positivity and community. Uh, today is indeed the anniversary of a uh, senseless tragedy that we should definitely remember, but something not to dwell on too much. At least not for me. Let's see. Who? Who are we switching to here? I unswitch. Nope, I think I have to commit there before I... Well, I can still use the Limit Break, though. Uh, Rhino Beetle can do enough. Vacuum can't suck hard enough. Rhino Beetle can do it if we Limit Break. I don't think there's a way to see the items of your party member, no. Tragically. Ooh, I think I failed here. Yeah. Oh, please don't kill my Rhino Beetle. Which you definitely might do. Work us. The enemy joins our party. We now have a way to dump a whole bunch of sixes, which is excellent. Kill up Jester. Kill up. He's gonna be good against Buster. Buster has four fire breathings that he uses on every turn. Strong against fire. We're almost certainly sacrificing Pirate to Buster. We're almost certainly. Probably make use of, like, Vacuum at some point. But Fire Breathing is a terrible power. Have you seen the new version? Um, Adjudicatorship? Because the new Fire Breathing seems really strong, actually. Actually. Heal after, that's an option. Sure, we'll fight the, the Durkin. Buster is strong against fire. That he is. Four damage, burn a dice. You can do that up to four times in one turn. How did it change? We should have, uh... There you go. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, it deals damage to all enemies. It's uh, really cool now, actually. I quite like it. I'm really... We haven't yet gotten an opportunity to use the new Fire Breathing. And I'm hoping that uh, the day will soon come. The day will soon come. Let's just swap dice around a bit here. <laughs> Okay, do I wind up fist? I can wind up fist and switch to singer here. Old fire breathing was um, whenever you play an attack card, deal one damage to all enemies at the end of your turn. Just one damage. That's it. Didn't upgrade to more damage. Just one. Just one. 
Oh, I can't cancel out of a switch. So I do do with my benefits. Okay. I'm gonna switch over to Singer. Oh, I think the weaken, if you only weaken two, like he'll just use the ones that aren't weak, I think. Oh god, that roll. I know he's obliged, okay. Oof. Oof, ouch. My entire face. Commence the suck. And suck the health back. Which is what vacuum's hopefully gonna achieve more than anything else. Is sucking. And hopefully Buster will stop rolling so well. Buster, please. This many dices. Singer can use this many dices. High note is what, 20? I can hit the high note. And we can get a lot of damage done. We're gonna lose Singer if we hit the high note though. So that's an option. I can click on the burning dice before I switch to Singer, and we don't have to uh, we don't have to lose the health on her. Yeah, pirate can use pirate can dish out a lot of damage. Isn't pirate at like one hit point? Yeah, we can lose pirate here. We can lose pirate. Use the pirate. Takes half damage from the cannonballs, but they still hurt. Pirate was KO'd. Blind actually did affect Buster there. It looked like. Uh, who can deal 16 one turn? Cowboy can. Um, and Jester can... we get to switch, right? So we'll send Jester back out here. <laughs> so, four, five, five. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Switch fighter. Cowboy, get in there! A Buster joins your party. You now have a dragon! Buster has 22 hit points, and presumably his usual powerful fire breath. Not the boss I would have preferred, but he's not too bad. Not too bad. We heal Singer twice, actually. She's pretty strong. That's ominous looking. That's ominous looking. That's a lot of hair. We have eight fighters remaining. Is this the heart of the spire? <laughs> the sword. Oh god. Lady Luck changes equipment. Every turn. <laughs> well, I thought I'd been trapped, that I'd trapped you here for eternity, but I see you've been running around in the dungeons yet again. <laughs> I've come to get my friends. Um. And you've made some new ones. <laughs> Yeah, when I when I told them I was going to take you down, they were all really keen to join in. Uh, no. You're not po po super popular around here, you know. 
Crying your rug! Oh, my dear. Uh. I don't need popularity. Uh. I have power. Oh. Uh. As you are about to find out. What do you got? Judgment. Do triple damage. Animals take only one damage. Animals? Do we have any animals? Is Baby Squid an animal? I don't know. Try the rug. Baby Squid is probably an animal. <laughs> probably. <laughs> a lot of damage. So she's got five dice, so this is almost surely doing 18 damage. Unless we switch to an animal. <laughs> Aren't we all technically animals? You'd think so. Hopefully you're an animal. Are you an animal type Pokemon, baby squid? <laughs> I sure hope so, because I'm risking your life here. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not surprised that she rolls only six. <sighs> You're an animal! Good job! Good job, baby squid. You're an animal. Level 1 monsters take only one damage, and machines take only one damage. She's gonna do them both? I don't have any level 1 machines. Is mayonnaise an animal? Might as well head butter. Yeah. Level one monsters, machines. Who we got here? Vacuum is a machine, but he's not a level one monster. So I don't think there's anybody we have that survives this. So we should sacrifice someone. Probably vacuum. She's got five dice, so I can't really mess with her in that way. What even is level one? It's somebody we found on the first floor. So Rose and uh, Rose and Frog. Pieces of vacuum. Wait, what? He lived! I don't know why. But apparently he's level one. That's news to me. Green things, animals, and things that can float. I don't have anything that's all three of those, do I? Wait, Buster might be all of these, actually. Yeah, Buster might totally be all of those. And Buster's got a really good turn with these dice. Pretty sure all of my party members are level one. Then that's weird phrasing, but okay. That's weird phrasing, but okay. Buster, you're up! Become burned. Heard it here first, folks. Dragons are animals. True story. All right, what do you got? Wheel of Fortune. Issue commandments. That's not ominous at all. Yeah, we can. Is it time for? The time for Singer to come on in. 
<laughs> lock two dice. She's not immune to uh, lock and freeze, is she? I can only lock one dice. But we can try a singer. Let's see if that. I I would be surprised if this does anything, but we'll try it, right? Let's try it. And we'll be right back to Buster, so I'm gonna put those there. I don't think we're gonna hit the high note on Singer here. Curse yourself. Nice. You don't like my rules? Well, bad luck, because it's time for some more. More rules for everyone! Lady Luck commands, don't use odd dice. The penalty for defying Lady Luck is to lose five health. Simon says, direct. Divine Sword, if enemy hit points is full, do double damage. Okay, so we're kind of through the gimmicky phase and into the real fight. Weakening her will definitely be effective, though. Um, so who are we swapping to here? I totally forgot about that roll. So she got four shields. Don't switch fighters. Penalty for defying Lady Luck is inflict five poison. Well, I might not have a choice. She's gonna do 12 damage and shock all equipment, so she's gonna kill Vacuum here. And there's nothing I can do about it, realistically. Hmm. Like we heal, but that doesn't that doesn't keep vacuum alive at all. If I switch, then whoever I switch to is gonna get mercilessly destroyed instead of vacuum. And I'm not sure who gets the poison. I imagine it would be the active, the newly active character. And I don't know if the poison persists between characters. It might. I'm not going to risk it. Vacuum was knocked out. This is a really good time for our limit break. Um, we should put in Singer, I think? And maybe switch to Buster, potentially. Reusable. Okay, so she's gonna do... Well, it's gonna be... We're gonna weaken this, which is really important. She's gonna do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. 15 damage here. Don't switch fighters again. Well, I'm switching fighters. I'm gonna pay 5 health to switch fighters here. Big time. Very big time. I think. Actually, am I? From this position, I'm not sure it's worth taking five to use these two dice. Oh yeah, I, I, I would be very surprised if this is possible to do without beating anybody. 
but there might be some crazy plays you can do that I'm not thinking about. What do you got? Reese is nice. What's your commandment? Don't reduce any countdowns. It's 10 if I do. So that's just going to be 6 damage. Can I switch to here? Sneaky Tika only lost 1, but he got Sneezy and stacked like 30 poison. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's cool that the, the fighters you get are totally random, right? So this weakness doesn't actually do anything. And yeah, Rat King would be nuts, huh? Just switch immediately. Don't want to use a countdown. That really limits who we can use here. For us, should have used uh, one weekend. Could have done more damage that turn. Now you can't see what that die is. Aha! Don't use twos. Next turn, lock two dice if you use one. Wow. Brutal. Enemy has any shield, miss. That's gonna do 18 damage. That's a big ask. Yeah, Frog was our only source of shield, right? <laughs> so, we're gonna sacrifice. We're not gonna allow ourselves to lose Baby Squid. That's not allowed. Just gonna ignore Shock entirely. Cowboy can live this hit. Never did lose anybody yet. I'm gonna have a really good turn with Cowboy in play. Wait, what? I'm... Sorry, what? Hello? Okay, thanks. <laughs> the cheese! Lady Luck showing mercy. Oh, I was ready to have do against all odds, but now I don't get to... Oh man! to Singer. Don't do much damage with her, though. <sighs> Guess I should have thrown that 5 into the 6-shooter instead. Oh, man, that weakens to not do any damage? That's insane. That is actually insane! <laughs> Next turn, gain 99 curses. That's cute. What are you doing? Got the Divine Sword Kona Kofia combo again. Well, let's do some damage here. Pew pew pew. pew. Takes two less damage from every attack. 
And if I use Midnight Charm, I will be very sad. Divine Rod. Reduce health to one. Well, that's easy enough to work. That's actually fine to give her Fury, then. Like, so there's no reason not to use the Midnight Charm, right? Because doubling this is not going to do anything to me. Seems fine. And there's still no reason not to do this. By switching to... Baby Squid is who I'm switching to. I believe. It does four, unfortunately. Get in there, baby squid. Do the double headbutt. Blinder for good measure. Well, look at that. You're still just about alive. Try your rug. And I know how hard you've worked to get this far. It almost seems a shame to end it all. Aww. <laughs> oh wait, no it doesn't. In fact, it seems long overdue and very satisfying to me personally. Oh, final phase. We're no longer being issued edicts. Instead, she's just going to kill me. Although Buster is strong against fire, so this should do half damage, I think. All right, baby squid, show her who the boss is. That's right, it is you. You are the boss. Yeah, we we lose if the jester dies. Yep. We do, in fact. And it still work for me. Well, then Buster's dead. how you're supposed to survive that. <laughs> uh, we get it? Question mark? Maybe you're supposed to dunk her. Well, damage you say. person will perish every turn. That only goes down to 20 damage. Well, see you later, Rhino Beetle. It's activating my limit break every turn, though. Rhino Beetle was knocked out. Alright, Cowboy, you're up. Show us the odds. Final 10 health. There's only one person we can trust for this job. Baby Squid! Use your head! Save us from the... Lady Luck. Lady. Bonker. Headbutt. Spin the wheel. This is revenge for getting fired from the from the host role. This is Baby Squid's vengeance against Lady Luck. Ah! Bunk. Ah! No. Impossible. Katwako. And amazing.
the... You found us! You did it! And you brought the minions! You didn't give up. I'm so happy to see you. Wait, confetti? What's happening? Why are those lights flashing? Oh. <laughs> because you won, you big silly bully. Billy? Billy. Uh. You refused to abandon your friends. Uh. You put aside your differences with the minions. Uh, and you gave up your worldly desires and beat me. <laughs> and you're... not angry? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my dear, no, of course not. Uh. You've done brilliantly. Gosh, when was the last time we had a real live victory? Mm. Jester, darling, can you fetch the records? No, I'm not your minion anymore. And we don't have any records anyway. Uh. Oh, uh, are you sure? Uh. Tiny pink octopus, <laughs> see if you can find any records. Uh. I've been waiting so long for somebody to actually win this game, you wouldn't believe. A carb is out of insurance by now. I feel like it would have happened sooner if you didn't make the game so hard and didn't cheat. We're supposed to cheat, apparently. We're supposed to cheat this whole time? I was allowed to cheat? <laughs> but then what would have happened to your journey of self-realization? <laughs> now, everyone pose for a photo. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Such a magnificent little bundle of fighters. <laughs> Come on, man, one more. I want something to remember you by when you're all gone. When we're gone? So we're free to go. All of us? Uh -huh. Of course. But I don't get to be super, super strong. Uh -huh. No. And I don't get my followers? Uh -huh. No. Your, your prize is self-knowledge, darling. I thought we'd covered that. Also, I can't help but notice that I'm still a giant walking dice. Uh, yes. And? Is there a problem with that? No. It seems totally fine. Uh, now, one more big smile. Say cheese. Cheese. Okay, look. I can deal with having to sleep. And I've kind of gotten used to the dice thing. But what about the minions? Are they free to go as well? Yeah, we, w we never would have made it out without them. Uh, Honestly, my loves, they're all very settled here. Uh, they might grumble a little, but they have families and vegetable gardens and everything. That's not the point. They fought with us. And they won. Uh, I suppose you're right. They were very brave. Uh, I'll tell you what, they can leave if they really want to. And if they don't, then I'll see that the employee suggestion box is open. And not incinerated as regularly. I might increase everyone's holiday leave to two minutes every century. What holiday leave? From nothing, my dear. I'll increase it from nothing to barely nothing. My goodness, can't you just enjoy your confetti? Uh... Okay. I guess it is pretty good confetti. Delicious, too. Let's all give one last big smile and think about the lessons we've learned as we fought so valiantly in these dungeons. In some cases, we fought side by side, and maybe in other cases, we fought in vicious opposition. But the important thing is that we did it together by cheating. Uh, ah, my precious little dice keaters. Uh, my real live winners. Uh, it's been such a delight having you all here. Uh, please, please, do drop by anytime. Uh, I absolutely promise I'll let you leave again, eventually. Uh, now, did we ever make any kind of end credits? It seems we did. It seems that they did. And it's got yet another banger. Hot diggity doodly. God, I'm gonna be... 
probably listening to the soundtrack for, to this game for quite a while. This has been a really enjoyable experience. With help from... All these folks. Voice acting. Special thanks. For these folks. Beta testing. Localization. More localization. And special thanks to everyone on the Discord. <laughs> we find out this latest spire. This is actually the bottom of the spire. Well, well, well. G freaking G Dicey Dungeons. What a cute, adorable, little enjoyable game. So glad we got the awesome uh, Dicey Dungeons emotes made to celebrate the uh, the wonderfulness that this game has been. We're not entirely done with um, everything that's in the game. Angel Moon has uh, offered generously to uh, send me some kind of mod that I'll be taking a little look at and maybe playing on stream. There's also hard mode for each of the six characters. Um, which is a more difficult version of episode six. Was the hidden character the the, si the seventh door? was the final episode that we just played against uh, against Lady Luck. That was the that was the the last door. And there is also again the remaining challenges. Have you done any of the um, bonus round episodes in hard mode, Sneaky Teak? If so, would you recommend? Is this content I should seek to indulge in? It would be a separate stream if so. You've not yet returned for hard mod. Well, when you do, slash if I do first, I'll let you know how it is. I'd be playing it in a later stream, Angel. Uh, we have been live for five and a half hours, so it's actually about time that I wind up the stream stream. And say farewell to all of you. But, the Dicey Dungeons doesn't have to end because Dolphin Chemist is doing some Dicey Dungeons. So I'll be throwing you all a host over his way. Um, let's see, what are some... What are some of the end of stream things to do? One, thank you everybody for joining me, it was awesome having so many of you uh, tuned in for the Dicey Dungeons content. If you're new here, and you enjoyed uh, the playthrough, I would super appreciate a follow on Twitch or joining our Discord to hang out and say hello. Also an awesome way to be notified when the stream's live. We're currently doing six streams a week, usually starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, except on Saturdays, uh, where we start on noon Eastern Standard Time. Fridays are currently the day off for the stream. Uh, usually playing a little-known roguelike called Slay the Spire. You may have heard of it. Where cards are thrown at enemies. Yeah, the, the, the popularity of this game has been truly surprising. Uh, in a really good way. 